I think Bitcoiners do it the right way. It's you know uh, self custody, but in a in a cold storage manner and, and a proper way to store it. You know, I've been around a long time, and I, honestly, I'm like partially just lucky I didn't fuck up my cold storage, right? Like, th this is before mnemonics, before like 12 to 24 word backups. You know, before it was it was a lot harder to preserve your backup. I mean, there were there were no metal backups, and you know, then like you had like the treasures and ledgers come out, um, and I think that these were big moments of like usable cold storage um, and that really kind of like having Bitcoiners lean into that and, you know, push self-custody, I think is really cool because private key management is critical for all of this to work. Again, not your keys, not your coins being the mantra that Bitcoiners say, that that really rings true to me, you know, in terms of like, I love that the community just chants that constantly. Ownership, I would say is, you know, you've got the private key ownership, right? Which is your claim over a certain digital asset. You know, with uh, blockchains don't auto magically solve real world problems. Uh, they still interface with humans. It's a social, there's a social dynamic to this. And when we look at Bitcoin's monetary policy, the 21 million hard cap, that monetary policy is enforced by social consensus. The Bitcoin community's culture is entirely around this 21 million hard cap and the preservation of that monetary policy. With humans, time builds trust. We don't, we're not computers. We can't just like download trust. We have to, that has to be baked in through time of those rules not changing and us believing that the rules will never change. And that increases the probability that it will never be changed. But when we look at Bitcoin in contrast to protocols like Ethereum, Ethereum has changed their monetary policy many times. And so we have to trust that they won't change it again or that they won't change it in a way that's unfavorable. And that's where when I hold digital assets, I wanna be sure that, you know, one, I have the private key that owns the asset, but that exists on all these, all these protocols. But two, the rules of the protocol and the enforcement of those rules are, are so set in stone that I can, I can very confidently store my value in that for a long period of time. And that to me is Bitcoin. As Satoshi says, the core root of the problem is trust. We have to trust that the central banks won't change the monetary policy or that bankers won't gamble with the economy or, or, or lend the dollars out to where there's barely any left in the, in the bank. With Bitcoin, we don't have to trust anyone again. And so Bitcoin's rules reinforce that trust over time. And that's why I think Bitcoin stands in very stark contrast to any other protocol in the space. Uh -huh.